elements of weather. When we get up every morning, the day may not seem to be the same always. Not only from one day to the other, but also from morning to evening, the atmospheric conditions may show a variation. Sometimes we may see clouds in the sky, the next day it may be a bright sunshine, and yet another day there may be strong winds or even rainfall. This is what is known as the changing weather. Thus, weather is defined as the atmospheric conditions in relation to temperature, humidity, sunshine, cloudiness, pressure, etc. that change very frequently. As compared to climate, changes in weather conditions occur over a small area and for smaller duration of time and these are not as certain as the climatic or seasonal variations. Recording of weather related data is of great importance. The information recorded at the meteorological stations is utilized by weather scientists or meteorologists for weather forecast. This information is of great value for pilots, sailors, fishermen, farmers, etc. Study of weather related data is essential for the purpose of planning several activities. Weather observation The weather conditions are analyzed and predicted on the basis of data recorded at the weather stations. Satellites are helpful in this work. The elements of weather that are studied include temperature, pressure, humidity, rainfall, wind speed, sunshine and cloud cover. All these elements are measured by using several instruments. Temperature Temperature denotes how hot or cold the atmosphere or the air around us is. Temperature is defined as the degree of heat of any body. The sun is the main source of heat for the atmosphere. The amount of heat absorbed by the atmosphere determines the earth's temperature. Temperature of any place may change during the day as it depends on several factors like the time of day, cloud cover, etc. The temperature is recorded by using a thermometer. The thermometer may have a Celsius or a Fahrenheit scale. The atmospheric temperature is measured by using a Sixes maximum and a minimum temperature. As evident from its name, it can record both the maximum as well as minimum temperature during the day. Atmospheric pressure Like all other things, the blanket of air lying above the surface or the atmosphere also has weight. It exerts this weight on the Earth's surface. This is known as the atmospheric pressure. The pressure exerted by the atmosphere is about 1 kg per square centimeter. The lower layers of the atmosphere have higher density than the upper layers. Humidity Humidity may be defined as the moistness or the dampness of the air or the amount of moisture present in the air. The moisture in the atmosphere is present in the form of water vapor or the gaseous form of water. The amount of moisture present in the atmosphere depends on various factors and is expressed in three ways. Absolute humidity, specific humidity, relative humidity. Absolute humidity Absolute humidity can be expressed in grams per cubic meter of air. It is the actual quantity of moisture present in per unit volume of air at a definite temperature. It is also a means to measure the amount of moisture that can be received from the atmosphere in the form of precipitation. Specific humidity Specific humidity is the weight of water vapor in grams contained per unit weight of air given in kilograms, that is, the mass of water vapor present in the total mass of air. Relative humidity 
Relative humidity is the ratio of the actual amount of moisture present in the air to the maximum amount of moisture that the air can hold in a definite volume of air at a given temperature. It is expressed in percentage. When the relative humidity is 100% or the actual amount of moisture is equal to the moisture carrying capacity of air, it is the condition of air when it is saturated. The temperature at which the air gets saturated is referred to as the dew point. Precipitation The moisture condensed in the atmosphere reaches the earth in the form of precipitation. Like condensation, precipitation also occurs in various forms such as drizzle. It refers to the very small droplets of water that fall continuously on the ground. However, the amount of water received by the ground is very less. Rainfall Rainfall consists of large quantity of water that falls on the earth's surface as water droplets. The quantity of water reaching the earth is significantly high. Hail It is the falling of hailstones on the earth's surface. Hailstones are small pieces or balls of ice that fall on the ground from the clouds. Snowfall It occurs when the temperature reaches below freezing points. Snowflakes from the clouds fall on the ground without melting. Dew and Frost Dew is the deposition of moisture in the form of droplets of water on any solid surface like grass, leaves, stone or any other surface. High relative humidity, long cold nights, clear sky, no wind or very less wind that allows greater radiation of heat are the ideal conditions for the formation of dew. The formation of dew occurs when the dew point is above the freezing point. When the temperature reaches the freezing point or below, condensation takes place in the form of crystals of ice called frost. The deposition on the solid surface is in the form of ice crystals and not as water droplets as in the case of dew. Sleet it occurs when both rain, water droplets and snow together fall 